Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about plural nouns. Hashtag more is better. So what is a plural? It's just more than one. Most words can be made plural by adding an S, like chair is chairs, dog is dogs, meal is meals. The hard part comes with words that don't follow the rules. We can call these irregular nouns. An example of an irregular noun is child. The plural of child is children, not childs, so we don't simply add an S. We add an EN, like oxen, which is the plural of ox. And there's no specific rule for that, these are just exceptions. If the word ends in an S like sound, like an actual S, a CH, a Z, then we add an ES. So that makes the plural of boss, bosses, and the plural of lunch, lunches. If a word ends in an O, we add ES, like mangoes, potatoes, and tomatoes. If the word ends in an F, most times, now there are exceptions like chief and chiefs, we replace the F with a V. A good example is wolf. We make the plural of wolf, wolves. Now, as if this isn't confusing enough, we have words that end in Y. Now I've got your rule. If you understand the rule, this works, I'm pretty sure, in about 100% of the cases, okay? If there is a consonant, so any of the 26 letters of the alphabet except for A, E, I, O, or U, if that comes before the Y, then you change the Y to I and add ES. If it's a vowel, which makes it A, E, I, O, or U before the Y, then you just add an S. Like fly, we change the Y to I and add ES because of that pesky little L right there. Party is parties because of the T before the Y. Baby is babies because of the B before the Y. Now, toy has an O before the Y, which is a vowel, so we just add an S. A has an A, so we add an S. And buoy has an O. I know there are two vowels right before the Y. The first one doesn't matter. It's only the one right before the Y, and that makes it buoys. For the last type of plural I'm going to teach you, you are going to learn more in high school, like how to know if it is cactus or cacti, okay? These are the words that don't change. There aren't very many of these. You can memorize them if you need to. So with these words, what you can do is say one sheep or 20 sheep. Okay, there's no difference in the singular and the plural. No matter how you use it, you just leave the word as it is. You wouldn't say mooses or shrimpses. Okay, so just leave these be. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching.